Lovelies, it's Jen and Brighton, and we have 15 minutes to get to his well check. So we are on the road, bright and early. I have his breakfast, which is an Eggo waffle and a sippy in the diaper bag, and we are off to sue his 18 month well check. Say yay! All right, so we have finished our appointment. It was rather helter-skelter because he cried the whole appointment. He cried less when he got the shots than he did during the exam. He did not want the doctor touching him. He just screamed and screamed. For the shots, it was like a little cry and that was it. But for the appointment, he screamed for like 20 minutes and she had another doctor with her following her on the rounds. So she wanted to go through every detail more than she normally would and do you want to do fluoride? All these other weird things. It's like he's screaming and I know you're training somebody and you know what I mean? Walking them through the rounds. But today is not his day. We are not the patient to be doing this with. So it was a disaster. Mommy's exasperated. On top of it, I got the flu shot and he got his shot plus the flu shot. So yeah. I guess on the upside, there's only 10 people left to get shots, but with all that, I'm just like, really? Just really ready to go home right now. And I want to call John and tell him how bad it went, but I think he has a meeting this morning, so I probably can't call him right now. Yeah. So I just have to suck it up and drive home now. And then give him some Tylenol because he had shots and just call it a day. All right, bye. Hi guys, it's Jen here. It is now 3.15 and I'm picking up the elementary crew. And I brought Brighton with me because he just would not take a nap at home. And I knew he needed it after his shots from um, the doctor today. And yep. Now he is just out. So I think what I'm going to do is drop them off since Daddy's home today and have Daddy supervise their homework and then go and pick up the high school kids and just idle for 15, 20 minutes while I wait for them so that he can get a good solid nap in. He and I also had the flu shot today, so I know I have a headache. So I imagine on top of his regular shot, he has a headache also and is a little tired. So um, yeah, so that was our day, but um, I think he's doing really well for a preemie um, who lost so much body weight too after he was born. So not only was he early, but he lost like a lot of weight. Um, he is now, I think it was 13, is that right? Yeah, 13th percentile in weight. So that's pretty good. He weighs 23 pounds at 18 months and his height didn't change at all from the 12th to the 18 month appointment. So the doctor was kind of wondering if he didn't get measured right because he was crying the whole time when the nurse was trying to do it because he's afraid of um, strangers. So like he's fine, but he doesn't like to be touched or stared at or prodded by strangers. He's fine with kids. He's fine with, you know, John and I or whatever, but he just wasn't in his comfort zone. So he pretty much cried the whole appointment irrespective of the shots, which of course he cried for. So that was kind of a bummer, but, um, at any rate, yeah, so he was 13% in weight and 3% in height because he hadn't grown any since his 12th month. He's the exact same height according to the um, measurements, but that might be off as well. So we will see. But um, his head is 93 percentile for his age. So he's got a big head, which isn't a shock to me when he throws it around. He's got a kind of a heavy head when it's nap time. So yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to touch base and let you know. I took a um, shower, changed my clothes after Kaiser so I'm not bringing the germs home. So the upshot of that is, is Baby Brighton and I have already had our flu shot. So that means only John and the other nine kids need to get their flu shots um, in the next few weeks. So yeah, at least two people are done, so that's good. Um, anyways, so that's it. I am just waiting for the kids to come out. Then I'm going to drop them off and then I'm going to go ahead and go a little early and just wait for the high schoolers so that he can get a good nap in because he really just needs a good nap right now. And I want to not interrupt it. If I go home, he's going to get interrupted. So I'm hoping he can just sleep. So hopefully the kids will notice when I'm like, shh, shh as they're coming to the car so they stay quiet and he can get his nap. That's my hope. All right, well, I will see you guys a little bit later.
Bye.